Hey all, welcome to the Johnny Cakes channel. Today I am showing you how to turn a box cake into what will taste like a homemade cake. You liar and you cheater. And if there's one thing Johnny from Is It Cake knows, it's cheating. So let's get going. Today I'm starting with a box of Betty Crocker strawberry cake. Now Betty and I have a long history. We're both in the cake industry. We bump into each other at social events. She's kind of a <laughs> if I do say so myself. Did I start a public feud with Betty Crocker? Betty, you know what you did. And I will never forgive you. At the Christmas party? At the cake people Christmas party last year? I know you were drunk, but that is not an excuse. She slapped me. She slapped me. But I'm gonna put our feud aside today and uh, use her. Also for legal purposes, this is all a joke. All right, so here's what we're gonna need to enhance our boxed cake. Um, obviously we need a box of our favorite cake mix. I use sour cream, milk or oat or almond milk or whatever milk you like. We're going to use oil and eggs, which is pretty normal, but we're gonna do something special with them. And then a little bit of butter. So I'm gonna show you the swap outs I do for each item listed on the back of this box cake mix. So the uh, recipe calls for three eggs. I'm going to add an additional egg to four eggs. This adds more structural integrity to the cake and it also makes it taste a little bit more homemade because there's more fresh ingredients in it. So now I'm gonna swap out the cup of water the box calls for with a cup of milk. It's just a one-to-one -one swap out. I think milk adds a richer flavor to the cake and um, I'm actually using almond milk because I'm lactose intolerant. You can use oat milk, whatever you have. Next, I'm going to add the oil. Uh, the box calls for a half of a cup. I've reduced it to a fourth of a cup because I'm swapping out that additional fourth of a cup with butter. They do basically the same thing in the cake recipe. It's just that butter is better. It's just better, it is, it's rich, it's delicious. It's gonna add the fat that the oil would add, but it's gonna also give it a flavor. The reason I'm not totally swapping out the oil with only butter is because oil adds a better moisture to the cake. So I've melted this butter so it's able to incorporate into our mixture. Just be careful that you're not putting really hot butter in this mixture, because it could curdle the eggs. Okay, so we've swapped all of our ingredients out, and now we're gonna add one addition that the box doesn't call for, and that is sour cream. Sour cream is like the best thing you can add to box cake mix. It adds a little bit of a tangy flavor. It adds a delicious moistness to the cake. And if you're gonna do one of these steps, I recommend it be the sour cream. It cuts that chemical taste of box cake a little bit. The sour cream you can measure with your heart. If you don't wanna measure with your heart, I say add a fourth of a cup. So that may have been a little bit more than a uh, fourth of a cup, but I measured with my heart and my therapist said that's okay. My cardiologist says it's not okay, but I say you. I'm here for a good time, not for a long time. Also, I think Daisy's last name might be Brand. It's in fine print, so she might not be proud of it. When you add sour cream to this mix, you're gonna notice lumps and bumps, that's okay. Okay, the final step is adding the contents of the box cake. And I add this last so that I don't over mix it. So we're gonna fold this in. Folding is different than whisking because you're a little bit more gentle, right? So I circle around the bowl and then I cut through the center. Circle around, cut through the center. So this is a little bit thicker than a traditional box cake batter looks. And that's because we swapped out so much of the like liquidy, wet, watery ingredients with a more hefty ingredient. So the batter's ready. Now we have to prepare our cake tins. Top tip, I like baking with six inch cake tins. First of all, it makes for a taller cake because the batter is not being spread out. And that gives just like a little bit more of like an elevated bakery style cake but you're making it at home, how fun is that? There's a million ways that you can prepare a cake tin. Some people like to cut out parchment rounds. I like to coat the whole tin with some vegetable shortening and then dust it with flour. All right, so we're gonna fill our tins with cake batter. You can measure this out, you can use a scale. I'm, I, why? Like why, you know what I mean? Do they have to be exact? No. My trick here is filling the pans about halfway full. 
So we wanna get these as even and level as possible. There's two ways to do that. One is starting now. We just have to spin the pans, get all the batter sort of like as even as possible, and then give them a quick tap to release any like excess air bubbles. Another tip I have for getting more flat, even baking is to reduce your oven temperature by a little bit. So most box cake mix is um, asked to be baked at. They ask, please sir, can you bake me at 350? I bake uh, my cakes at 325. This will increase how long it takes to bake, but the cake will rise more evenly. All right, we're gonna pop this into our 325 degree oven for about 25 minutes. We'll check on it at 20 though. Sleep well, little babies. All right, it's time to take our cakes out. So the cakes are pretty even on top. There's a little bit of browning. That's just some caramelization. That's natural. The sugar is cooking and that's happening. Uh, if you don't like that, you can trim it off or you can just like deal with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I take a butter knife, release it sort of from the sides and then a little trick to keep all the moisture locked into this cake. Take a piece of saran wrap and drop the cake out onto the saran wrap. I like to freeze my cake layers while they're wrapped in saran wrap. That locks in the moisture and it makes for a much more delicious cake. So there you have it, a delicious, moist, but structurally sound cake that's ready for stacking, frosting, carving. Um, and it just tastes so much better than a traditional like Betty Crocker box cake. Sorry, Betty. Mm. It's so good. It's moist and light and fluffy. Mm. Try this yourself. Let me know how it goes. Sorry for talking with my mouth full. Make sure you like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time. I'll just be here shoveling cake into my face. Mmm! Mmm!